Hello everybody, hope you're well. Okay, so it's, um, it's only a short one really, point of interest. Take a small detour on the way home for my new job. I uh, just want to show you all something. Okay, I hope you can hear that anyway. So, if you can see there, Canaston Road. Canaston Road is uh, the road where the last bomb to fall during the Second World War and kill someone fell. I can't quite remember the name of the number or the name of the lady who died, but it is a long year. When I get home I'll add another small video, a small uh, article written in an Orpington paper a couple of years ago. But yeah, this is Canaston Road and this is where the last bomb fell in World War II. Well, it might not have been the last one, but it was the last one that killed someone, certainly. I'll just leave it running while I'm just, just catching up. So I've got a new job. Just settling in. Not the hours I'm used to. <laughs> Zero hours contracts and getting called in if and when. It's very different from five days a week. Even though it's only a short hours each day. Also, I'd like to ask people. I've noticed uh, during my years, there's a lot of roads, and they're all, some of them have got some odd names. And the one in particular is uh, names associated with Robin Hood. Robin Hood. I mean, we've got Marion Crescent, Friar Tuck Avenue, and you know. There seems to be. Uh, it's association with the uh, the peasant hero. <laughs> Just like another Jesus figure or something, is it, maybe? I loved Robin Hood, I still do. It's an amazing story. I hope you're well. I've been listening intently. <laughs> Waiting for people to come by my channel, but no one's coming. Uh, when, I, when I've settled into this job a bit better, I'm going to make a, uh, uh, not everyone. I'm going to make a bunch of people some response videos. Some people ask questions, and then I don't know. No one ever puts an answer in the comments that I see. But then uh, I'm usually in there quite early, and uh, like most people, I don't. I haven't returned to a lot yet. To some to some and I've put some recent videos up it'd be really appreciative if you could all go and look at a couple of them they're not just me sitting around talking just me playing around the YouTube editor and stuff like that and just quickly back to my point of interest I, I do believe this is the section of Canaston Road where the, where the house was bombed I think it's down here on, on my right your right as you're watching this side Yeah, when I get home, there's a little article, I'll bring it up, put it uh, just uh, after I finish speaking. And then I'll leave it rolling for anyone to go check out themselves. Yeah, point of interest. I do believe the lady's buried uh, around the corner in the graveyard, but maybe that's a bit macabre, showing you a, a gravestone. <laughs> anyway, uh, I do hope you're well. And it would be nice if people would go back and check out my last couple of weeks worth of videos. Uh, most of them are only short. Anyway, peace and out to you all. Okay, so just finishing up with Canaston Road. Uh, Ivy Millerchamp, aged just 34. So she died yeah, in Canaston Road in Orpington. 1945. This is the Bromley Times. Uh, as you can see there, it's, uh, yeah, probably not a good night. So Bromley Times, you can come and have a look through it yourself. I can't remember when it was written. I just bleeding and looked at it as well. But yeah, that's it. So I was wanting you down there earlier. I won't go and film it too close, obviously. It's someone's house, you know. <laughs> just a point of interest that it's just around the corner from me. Last bomb to fall in Eng on England and kill someone during the Second World War. So anyway, all credits to whoever wrote the, 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 the article. 
paste on that to your and paste to Ivy Miller Champ. 